okay so we have created our uh, smart contract already so now we are going to start our uh, application with the backend so oh, let's create a file index.js um, yeah okay oh it created a file index.js inside okay so just forget it index.js uh, and uh, <coughs> so our index.js is ready so we are uh, we are going to write our backend code here basically the application which we are creating we can do everything in the front end but just for the sake of learning i am creating a backend server where we are going to serve our html file and um, some other html files associated with this project and then we are going to create a simple post request and we are going to add vote using the post request we can again we can do it in the front end in the javascript but just for the learning i'm going to do everything here so first of all we are going to say dot env dot config and we are going to uh, take our environment variables require express It's it's same old thing which I have to write all the time in all the applications. So just uh, bear with me, and we are going to write file upload. It is going to take the JSON structure and sends from front end to back end, and we can extract everything inside. So this middleware is we going to help us uh, represent the data in the correct format and then we are going to no oh, seriously app dot use express dot static why we are using is this because we are going to um, we are going to serve the static files using this backend because we are going to write uh, the javascript file with the front end so we are we have to give everything there we have to like serve this in our backend so whenever a front end tries to connect with the backend it can access those javascript files through this backend repository and then we can use express.json const path is equals to require path const ethers is equals to require ethers we can say port you can you can find all this code in my previous project too but just for the sake of uh, like this new video because there there is a possibility that some people might not have seen my previous video so i'm just writing everything again private key we are going to create this environmental variable files later so let's just write code first contract let's create the env file so you people don't get confused and um, this env file is created so i'm just like copying and pasting these things here so okay so where is the index.js okay so you see we have this api url this is the private key of my account and this is the contract address so don't worry we are going to deploy the contract and we are going to put the right address here uh, so we have defined these variables now what we can do is for, uh, in order to communicate with the contract we need the cons contract abi so we can say const abi is equals to require it's in the artifact oh 
I'm so sorry for that. So we have not yet uh, and compiled our contract which we have written in the previous video. So npx hard hat and compile. The contract is compiled and this is the voting and this is the script to deploy. So let's just remove everything from here everything from here and uh, console.log we can just say contract address and we can say it's voting and voting voting underscore equal to voting dot deploy and it's voting underscore dot deployed so i hope it's voting underscore dot address let's see if it works otherwise we have to change this and px hard hat run dash dash network volta scripts dash dip oh no it's deploy.js network volta doesn't exist okay so we are going to copy these things here actually these are just like copy and paste it so this is a volta network and this is the api url the private key so let's do this again unlock time is not defined i think uh, okay so deploy let's just deploy missing argument in the constructor okay ah uh, okay so here if you go to the voting dot soul we need to give two constructors like candidates name and the duration in minutes so what we can do is we can give candidate name as mark mike uh, george and we can say the contract is on for uh, let's say 20 minutes because here if you see we need to give duration in minutes so let's do this again okay so our contract is deployed and we can just go and copy paste this and here we need to define const abi is equals to require sorry for not compiling the contract before but yeah now you know that before writing the backend you need to compile the code and uh, dot slash artifacts slash contract slash voting dot sol slash json so it is going to get the json file here and uh, now our uh, now we need to define a provider const provider is equals to new ethers dot pro dot providers dot json rpc provider and we are going to put the api url inside now the provider is ready now we need to define a signer new ethers dot wallet and we are going to give private key and provider and then we can create const contract instance is equals to new ethers dot contract so we need to give contract address abi and signer okay so now everything is ready now we need to define our roots 
props roots okay we can say request response and this is a function so it's whenever we call this res dot send file we can say path dot join underscore the directory name and it's going to serve index.html and if somebody says index.html then it's going to do the same thing and uh, now we can first before writing our post request we can say app.listen port function console.log this is a callback function which is going to return this string listening on port 3000 not 30000 okay so our backend is almost ready now we need to write just one post request and the name of the post request is slash vote so whenever a user is going to click on vote function uh, we uh, he will be redirected or he or she will be redirected to this post request so we can say async is a function and it has like request and response so the request has the body no um, okay i i always get confused about the syntax okay so first of all it's from the body we are going to extract the vote which is actually uh, mm. so i think this function is implemented using the add candidate so basically we are adding a candidate using this so it's not actually vote we can say it's add candidate because we are going to call uh, the function and this console.log we can just like console.log vote or we can say it's candidate oh, let, let's just let's just don't complicate the things async function store data in blockchain actually it's my way of writing the code so i am writing everything in the function and then i'm going to call this function later and i i do this uh, almost all the times in my projects so if you go to my other videos i must have done the same thing So we are just going to say console.log so the user wait and then we are going to send a transaction which is await contract instance dot add candidate. This is the function we defined and it takes a string of name and then we can say await tx dot wait and then we can create const bool is equals to await contract uh, I will explain what I am doing right now. Okay, so we are actually getting the voting status if the voting is open or closed. If it's now we are going to say if bool is equals to true, if the voting is open, then we are going to call this function store data in blockchain and we are going to give vote and then we are once it's done we are going to say the candidate has been registered in the smart contract actually i'm not able to run this code right now because i have not created the html file so as soon as i create the html file i'm going to run this code to show you how it works so we have said res.send the candidate has been registered in the smart contract and uh, else 
if the voting is closed res dot send voting is finished i think the time i will complete this backend code i think the voting will be finished because we have already deployed our contract but it's okay like we are we can we can actually confirm this res dot send voting is finished command otherwise if the voting is open we can see if we can add we can add a candidate or not so so our backend is almost ready so now we will move toward the front end part the html file and then as we are creating our html files and the code in the javascript we are going to test the functionality step by step so thank you for watching